How did your uncle react? About Ganymede? Yeah. He wasn't too happy that we didn't make any sales, but I think it was the vice for that. No, no, no. About the robot. Holy tacos. I'm getting off track already. Uncle Jetto was definitely not happy about it. Sometimes I wonder why we even took it for him to see. Why did you? You know, I honestly don't think we had much of a choice. Avoiding what was about to happen was absolutely 100% impossible. Hmm, no me gusta, no me gusta para nada. I know, right? We could hardly believe it either. Wait, uh, what? It's a real recent robot, Jero. And it saved Dexter's life. ¿Por qué no te gusta? Es que, bueno, saved your life? What do you mean? Well, the trip to Ganymede didn't really go as planned. So, the lead didn't pan out? The Viceroy was, mm, how do I put this? Dexter got thrown in prison. Which totally wasn't my fault. Then whose fault was it? I don't understand why it has to be anybody's fault. So, es que, I guarantee you, if I had gone on that sales call, I wouldn't have gotten thrown in prison. Now you're down in our system? Our system? Uh, yeah. I go out, you stay behind, I get caught, you come rescue me, then I rescue you. We get away together. Did you not know that was our system? We have a stupid system. Will you two stop it? Sorry. Sorry. What do you mean? The robot saved you. The robot helped me escape from prison, and the guard shot at us. It took a blaster hit for me. But before its system shut down, it said, I have to find Venturia. Okay? No way, Dex. That couldn't have happened. You must have heard wrong. No, I didn't. I, Mira, even if in the remote possibility of Reason Robot arrived in the nick of time to rescue you from prison, jump in front of a blaster, and then say your mother's name, it's just a big coincidence. What? Coin? No, no, no. I heard. I know what you heard. Or what you think you heard. But Dexter, you know, these are complex machines. Who knows what has been retained in their systems? This is the exact same model of robot that came to Earth when the Reasons destroyed everything. Your father and mother, my friends, died at their hands. I still remember the last thing your father told me. He said, mi hermano, por favor, keep Dexter safe. I know, I know. I send you an Aurora off on sales calls, and you have your little adventures. But this is different. This is where I draw the line. But what if it knows something about my mom? No, Dexter. End of discussion. I'm taking this to the bodega, where it can't hurt anybody. Meaning me. Yes, Dexter. Meaning you. Dexter, I'm, I'm sorry. <sighs> I can't believe it. Don't. That did not go as planned. Hey, can I sit down? I'll sit down. You know, I I can't even remember her face. What? This badge. I found it when we were on Triton. I don't even know how I got there, but I remember my dad had one just like it on the shoulder of his jacket. He told me the Ministry of Space gave these badges to the crew members of each adventure ship. He and Uncle Jetto both got one when they were given their missions. He would tell me stories, but never wanted to talk about Reese. Dexter, your dad and your uncle discovered something amazing. Who thought that Reese will have life on it, let alone people just like us? It's incredible. I know, and that's why I remember him. But I can't remember my mom. I can't even remember what she looks like. But if Reason Robot pops out of nowhere and says, Find Venturia? What does that even mean? She's gone, you know. It's just, for all I know, this robot knows more about her than I do. What are you going to do about it? There's nothing to do. I'll just keep selling Uncle Jetto's stupid merchandise on the few lousy planets human life is scattered on. That's really bleak, Dexter. Well, that's all I have. Hey, come on. It's nothing a couple of tacos can't fix. Sadly, Aurora, I think this is a problem that can't be fixed with tacos. Yikes. This is serious. Yeah. So, you're just gonna give up? I've never seen you give up before. Maybe I should. Maybe I should never try anything ever again. That doesn't sound like the Dexter I know. 
Welcome to the new Dexter Stardust, Adventures in Self-Pity. I don't think anyone would play that game. Neither would I. I wish I could help, but I've really got to get back inside the ship. Yeah, there's lots of nothing to do, I bet. I'll be here thinking about how the rest of my life will be the same as it always has been. Are you sure you don't want to come back inside? Nah, you don't need me. Maybe, but it would be really nice if I had some help getting the rest of the pieces of the robot. Yeah, wait, the rest of the pieces? You didn't notice one of the arms was missing from the robot when we showed it to your Uncle Jero? What? No! Dexter, I'm just as curious as you are. If I had a chance to see my family again, I, I'd do anything. We are in this together. Let's get that robot back. All right, come on. Okay, Aurora, how do you want to get the rest of the robot back? Why don't you go snoop around your Uncle Jero's bodega and look for the robot? Knowing him, he probably took it apart and hid it in pieces. Whether it's whole or in pieces, bring it to me so I can reassemble it. I'll be here in the ship. If we can get it working again, we may be able to find out more about why it saved you and why it knows about your mom. After that, I don't know. We'll take him from there. Kind of like we always do. <laughs> right. Don't forget our system. <laughs> uh, yeah. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'm going to be analyzing this robot arm. Whatever I can learn about it will surely help when we get the rest of the robot back. All right, I'll keep you posted. And don't get distracted. <laughs> Come on, Aurora. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm laser focused. Kind of like one of those nifty disco laser thingies at the concerts, you know? The laser's here, and then it's over there. And all of a sudden, it's in another spot. And then back in the same spot. I love those things. Um, wait, what were we talking about again? Radio Hut number two. It's pretty firmly attached. It's locked. It's not nailed down super well. I could probably get it off with a bit of leverage. I could use that if I picked it up. Thank you. 
I'm not gonna just walk around the forest for no apparent reason. I need to find the rest of that robot. Uncle Jed will probably hit it in or around the bodega. It's Chucho. He's an interesting guy, to say the least. Nuevo Consuelo. It's the town I live in. Uncle Jetto says it resembles a famous sign from Earth. Somewhere in a place called California. It's Chucho. He's an interesting guy, to say the least. Hey Chucho, what's up? Hey Dexter, hombre, que paso? Why are you sitting over here with only one sock on? Oh, hey man, you don't even want to hear Dex. It's like a long story. Oh, well then, it's, it's okay. I was just... Well, don't worry, man. I got time. Oh. What a day, so check it out. I'm over there minding my own business at the taco shack. You know the one by Beats Mansion? The one with that really giant taco on it? You mean the only taco shack in town? What a day, that's it, man. That's the one. Okay, so there I am eating the three taco special, the tres tacos plato. When Troy walks up and he's all like, Yo, I heard you saw the Martian bug monster and stuff. And I was like, yeah, so what? And then he's all like, I think you're lying. And I was like, no way, man, I ain't no liar. And I was like, which is why I never had a dog. We had a little duck one time. But hey, what are you going to do? We had like a tiny yard, right? Uh-huh. But oh, that's the reason he dared me in the first place. Because you know me, I'm not one to back down from a dare. Yeah. But come to find out, pine trees are prickly, sticky, and kind of tricky. So it's kind of hard to climb, you know? Haha, <laughs> that's when they all saw it, man, just like I did. Troy got so mad that I proved them wrong and stuff. Amy actually broke up with them because of it. Now everyone knows that say, Chucho doesn't lie. So why are you sitting over here with only one sock on? Because I lost my shoes somewhere in the forest, man. I had to chuck them over my shoulder. They were slowing me down. And the one sock? Somewhere with the shoe. Maybe they're together, maybe not. I barely got out of there alive. I'm speechless, Chucho. I would be too, man. <laughs> you know, I found these really cool red and blue decoder glasses in the forest. Makes the whole world look like purple. Hey, I'll tell you what, Vato. If you find the shoes for me, I'll give you a second pair of these decoder glasses I found, yeah? Where are they? I don't know, man. Somewhere in the forest? Good luck finding them. What's been happening around here? Hey, not much, Dex. You know it's pretty boring in these parts of Mars, eh? Not much to do, not much adventures. What about you? I recently found a Vriesian robot that may hold secrets to my family, and possibly the future of the galaxy. Uncle Jetto took the robot and hid it somewhere, so Aurora and I are trying to get it back and reactivate it. You know, typical family stuff. For real, Dexter. You know, families are hard to deal with sometimes. A lot of hard work, but in the end, it's worth it. That is surprisingly encouraging, Tucho. Adios, Chucho. Adios, Dex. So, did you find the robot? It was definitely here, but it left. Where did it go? Somewhere outside the city? Outside the planetary system. It's on the move. Can you get a reading on its radiation trail? Yeah, it's on Mars somewhere. A place called uh, Nuevo Consuelo. Never heard of it. Come on, let's go. I don't want it to get away this time. Ah, looks like the Space Scouts are going on a hike this week. That's cute. Welcome to Nuevo Consuelo Forest. I always get lost in there. Hey! 
Those are Choo Choo shoes. Ugh, I can't quite reach it. Gotta figure out how to get those down. I don't have time to go further into the forest. I just came in here to get Choo Choo's shoes. I have to get back to finding those robot pieces at the bodega. Hey, those are Choo Choo's shoes. Hey, Uncle Jello, can I grab one of these disposable blasters? Nah, uh, okay, hasta bien. Thanks. She's rather kitschy. There's nothing to use. Dashboard Hula Girls, our biggest seller. It's a radio. Oh, spiky. Ow! The soda fridge, and it looks like it's currently empty. I had to open it first. Dexter, don't go in there. What do you need a paleta for anyway? It's hot out. I just thought a Rigo's Fruit Freeze paleta would hit the spot. You know, since I work here. You thought wrong. No paletas for you. Space, Uncle Jetto. Is this because I brought the robot back from... No vamos a hablar de eso, ya? Ugh, fine. Hey, Dexter! What? Gases! I'm, uh, going to the back room. Why do you need to go back there, mijo? Uh, I was... Espera! Were you gonna look through the sofa cushion to find that quarter so you can get me a newspaper? Uh, yes. Eres un buen, chico. Just don't go looking for that robot. And don't be touching my computer either. I've remotely locked the navigational systems on your ship. I'll know if you tampered with it. Nope. Yeah, just the quarter thing. So, I'll just... Okay, I'm not looking for the robot. Wow, look how comfy this chair looks. You know what? Maybe I'll just sit down for a while. Oh yeah, that's really nice. You gotta love a good chair. Yep, not looking for robots back here. No siree, Bob. No robots at all. Uncle Jetto? Okay, I think he fell for it. The key is to be subtle. Now, where's that robot? Looks comfy. I bet there's some change in the cushions. Alrighty, let's see what we got in the cushions here. Hey look, 25 spacey cents. This is where Uncle Jetto monitors our ship's trajectory. He locked our ship's navigational system. We'll never be able to leave the planet like that. At least not with our ship. I wonder what all these buttons do. I wonder what would happen if I did this. Whoops. Dexter, ¿qué haces? Uh, nothing? Ole, come on, what did I tell you? Um, something about the computer? Do you remember what that was? Don't touch the computer? Don't touch the computer! Now I have to recalibrate everything! Sorry. Sorry. Hey, the other robot arm. I'll just take this. Maybe I can snoop around here while Uncle Jetto's in the back. 
Okay. The soda fridge. And it looks like it's currently empty. I fixed it. Please don't touch the computer again. It's muy delicado. Okay, fine. Looks comfy. I bet there's some change in the cushions. There's nothing to use. There's nothing to use. Hey, is that a... No, no, it's nothing. If I'm gonna find that robot, I should stick around the bodega. Uncle Jetto wouldn't have hidden it very far. They're closed. Look, someone's digging a hole over here. Wait, there's a note. It says, danger, come back later on in the next episode. That's a little on the nose, don't you think? It's a newspaper dispenser with the daily news. They're closed. They're closed. They're closed. They're closed. Hey, is that a... No, no, it's nothing. Uncle Jetto, I got your newspaper. A ver. Gracias, Dex. But don't go thinking this will make me give you back the robot. I've hidden it somewhere where you'll never find it. Uncle, no. I wouldn't think of it. I've forgotten all about that silly old robot. Bueno, vamos a keep it that way. Now let's see what's in the paper. With Uncle Jetto busy, now's my chance to snoop around. There's nothing to use. She's rather kitschy. There's nothing to use. That's not a Phillips head. The soda fridge, and it looks like it's currently empty. That's not a Phillips head. How am I supposed to do that? I'm not carrying that around. Hey, Uncle Jetto, can I play with the radio? I'll stop you in. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ugh, it's just static. Okay, let's see what we got here. 
Hey, the light years. I love the light years. Okay, let's see what we got here. Back to Latin Loop. Me encanta Latin Loop. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ugh, it's just static. Okay, let's see what we got here. Hey, the light years. I love the light years. Okay, let's see what we got here. Back to Latin Loop. Me encanta Latin Loop. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ugh, it's just static. Okay, let's see what we got here. Hey, the light years. Okay, let's see what we got here. Back to Latin Loop. Me encanta Latin Loop. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ugh, it's just static. She's rather kitschy. Hey, Uncle Jetto. Do you have any new leads or shipments for us? Unfortunately, no. After Los Problemas and Gana meet, I think it would be best to lay low for a little while. Maybe Aurora and I can take the ship off planet and get some leads ourselves. Absolutely not. I remotely locked the navigational system on the ship, so there's no way you'd be able to get off planet. But what if we just... No, and that's final. Do you ever think about my parents? Orale, mijo. Not a day goes by that I don't think about them. Those two were my best friends, and you always miss your friends when they're gone. They gave their life for you, you know? And your father, he entrusted me with your safety. I know, I know, you keep saying that. And I know what you're thinking, but that's why it's muy importante that you get that worthless robot out of your mind. If your father was here, he'd say the same thing. Maybe. See you, Uncle Jetto. Adios, Dex. That's not a Phillips head. How am I supposed to do that? Found the other robot arm. Thanks. Put it over on the boxes here. Some of the robot parts are still missing. Let me know when you find any more. I'm on it.
Radio Hut number two. Radio Hut number two. It's locked. It's pretty firmly attached. That's not a Phillips head. I don't want to blast that. It's a disposable one-shot blaster. Good for only one shot. Gotta make it count. Chucho, the things I do for you. I found your shoes in the forest. Nice! Where were they, Dex? Hanging on a rope pretty close to the forest line, actually. That's loco! I don't even remember being over there! Well, a deal's a deal! Here's a pair of those decoder glasses I found! Thanks. No problemo, Dex! Aren't you gonna put them on? Nah, man. I'm kinda just like chilling up here with no shoes on and stuff. And one sock? Doesn't that feel weird? Nah, man, that's the best part. You're one of a kind, Chucho. One of a kind. They're decoder glasses. One lens is blue and the other is red. It says Quick Drive 3000 for when you need to drive screws in a jiffy. Warning, do not enter the Quick Drive 3000 into eye socket. <laughs> That's good advice. I don't think I can do that. Hmm, I don't remember seeing this before. I wonder what it does. Neato. I don't think adventurers carry around teddy bears, so I'll forgo carrying around this guy. I doubt I'll need it anyway. I gotta get these robot legs back to Aurora. I have to open it first. 
that's not a Phillips head. It's an old empty display case for our dashboard hula girls. It's Uncle Jetto's old yoga mat. He doesn't do yoga anymore. <laughs> At least I hope not. Uncle Jetto's old yoga mat may come in handy, but I don't need it in this episode. I'll come back later. I don't think that'll fit in my jacket. I think I can open it if I take out the screw. There we go. Now I can get onto the roof. Let me take a look at it first. Okay, let's see what this message says. Ooh, I can see the message. Looks like numbers. I wonder what they correspond to. I wonder what would happen if I did this. Whoops, Dexter, ¿qué haces? Uh, nothing? Ole, come on, what did I tell you? Um, something about the computer? Do you remember what that was? Don't touch the computer? Don't touch the computer! Now I have to recalibrate everything! Sorry. Sorry. Okay, let's see what's in here. that did Uncle Jetto always full of surprises okay Dex I fixed it now don't where'd he go ese muchacho me tiene loco What is this, a crowbar? Space, it's dark down here. I gotta find a light switch or something. I can't pick that up. Hmm, what's this? I think it's some kind of circuit breaker. Aha, there we go. Let's see if there's some more pieces of that robot down here. It's a robot body, gotta get this to Aurora. I've already picked up some pretty random things. So what's a bowling ball too? Hey, is that a... No, no, it's nothing. Holy space! It's an old obliterate arcade machine. I used to play this game all the time. They had it over at the taco shack before they put it in the jukebox. I almost beat it once. What a useless hotspot. There's nothing in there. Hmm, something's fishy about this thing. Isn't skee ball spelled with two E's? I love to play it, but it's missing that runway part where you throw the balls. Nah, I'm pretty sure I would just crush it. Hmm. I can't crowbar that. Wait, uh, no, I can't crowbar that. No, I can't leave until I find everything Uncle Jetto has hidden down here. Back when this thing used to be at the taco shack, I lost my coin on a string to the final boss. Maybe it's still there. I don't need to get in there though. At least not in this episode. Rats! 
I step off the board and it goes back down, and I can't grab it. Maybe I can keep it up somehow. Rats! I step- Maybe I can keep it up. Rats! Maybe I can keep- Rats! I st Maybe I can- It's not heavy enough to keep the board up. That did the trick. Now I gotta rip up these boards somehow. Okay, let's see if we can do some damage. Holy chimichanga! There's a tunnel under the floorboards. Uncle Jetto sure has a lot of secrets. Nah, I don't want to carry around a bunch of rusty swords. Hmm, what's Uncle Jetto doing with all these rusty swords down here anyway? A bunch of rusty swords. Hmm, what's Uncle Jetto doing with all these rusty... It looks like someone buried something in a hurry. My gut is telling me Uncle Jetto buried part of the robot here. My gut is also telling me that it needs a burrito. I think I can push my way out through these bushes. This shouldn't be too hard. Okay, let's see what we got here. Hmm. I wish Dexter would forget about the robot. What did Venturio say that one time? Something about a device? This is a very important device I have designed just for you, Jetto. Para mi? Why? You will need to use it someday, to protect Dexter. What happens if I touch this button? Oh, Jeddo, not yet. You humans are so eager. I suppose my kind has lost our sense of wonder. How is this gonna protect little Dexter? You will protect Dexter. This will bring you to him. The time will come when Bayard and I will not be there. It will be up to you to take action. How will I know when to use it? You'll know when you meet two sisters. Two sisters? Dos hermanas? I don't understand. You will, Jeddo. It will all become clear in the moment. Oh, Bayard. That woman is so mysterious at times. I wonder what she meant. I knew it! Uncle Jetto buried the robot head down here. Uncle Jetto really doesn't want me finding out about whatever information this robot has. It's the robot head. I have to get this to Aurora. Ugh, gross. There's a bunch of worms in the hole. I need a can or something to put them in.
found the robot's body. We are definitely gonna have to fix that blaster hole. Put it over there behind those boxes. We'll have to figure something out. Some of the robot parts are still missing. Let me know when you find any more. I'm on it. I found the robot head. Great! Put it over on those boxes there. Okay, that looks like all the parts. Can you put it together? Well, it doesn't look like your uncle damaged the parts too much when he broke it apart. I think I can put it back together, but it's going to take some time. Well, I have an extra set of hands if you need them. Thanks, Dex. Let's get to it. Was she able to fix it? Aurora's a genius. She struggled with it a bit, but she got him back together. Wow, a real-life robot. He wasn't back to life yet. It's too bad we couldn't get him working sooner. We could have saved ourselves a lot of trouble. And speaking of trouble... There was something out there, hot on our heels. We have arrived at the planet they call Ganymede. Yes, it seems robot number four was last active outside of a small town. We must be cautious. I am picking up armed life forms on the planet. Armed humans are no match for me. There is a dignitary located at the position, a viceroy. Then let's pay this viceroy a visit. 